So if we type in 07.01.2020, Good job. Oh, hang on. Zero. Okay. Sorry. Zero seven. It won't accept it, okay? It just sits there doing nothing. But if you change it to zero eight, it's happy with that, okay? So, let's give it a go. Okay. We're ready to record. We're still recording. Okay, sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, create a new folder. Uh, I think I already have it in there. Great. Test cases. Create a new test case. There we go. Okay. So, if we scan that, scan the application. By the way, guys, the, the more I do of automation anywhere, the more I love uh, Tosca or PA. It's significantly more professional. Okay, so the usual scheme of things is selected on the screen. What do we want? Condensed. So it goes over on the right hand side. Uh, okay. Now, if you look, if you can see here, the select on screen isn't working properly. Okay, it's not working properly at all. So where it wants us, uh, the little A with a cursor bar, that means text entry. D-D-M-M-Y-Y-Y, that should be up here. This is not working properly because the zoom hasn't been set properly. So let's just, um, let's just get rid of this. And then go back into our browser, set the zoom to the correct level. See the way it just changed? Okay. Make it bigger and smaller. Now, a lot of people would just go, okay, I've done that now. But that's not how this game works, okay? We need to uh, we can maybe create a folder just as a reminder. We can say set zoom browser zoom to normal. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to work as expected. Even though we're doing direct steering, it isn't going to work as expected. So that's a little to do, okay? And that that will later on become part of our standard preconditions. So let's start the scan again. See what we can do. Is. Scan. Want to select on screen? Get all this out of the way. There it is. There. That's what I want. Gives you a little hint saying we're dealing with dynamic dates. In case you uh, you, you want to look up the help file on that, which is something I'll probably do. We go in here now. We have our little obstacle course. Let's drag that into the folder we, or the test case we made already. The test is, we're not planning this, we're actually doing this, set it to in work. That's important for our requirements. And this is where we want to type in something. Um, if I remember the, the date command, um, ba, ba, ba. date, okay. Date and time values can be calculated by using the base date, base date along with deviations. That's the base date. Base date, offset, format, base date. Off. We want one day, so change us to plus one. Maybe we can leave that alone. But let's let's see what it does with the base date of empty. It's probably good enough. Oops, a daisy. Date. Uh, leave it empty. We want plus one day. Close it. We we'll take the default format. Okay, let's see what it does. F6 this. Huh. All right, it worked. Cool. Uh, surprisingly easy. Some of this stuff. Okay, let's go back to 
change that to set the date to be one day into the future. Go back to the module and uh, module is okay. This test folder is not okay. Remember, we have to have this little structure, it's really important. Precondition. Control N, Control F, process. Control NF, post condition. Let's drag that in there into the process folder, okay? Can you remember what the preconditions are? Open URL, right? I think we can just copy that and paste it in there. Let's have a look at the URL. That's the URL, so let's actually change that. So let's look at the browser. And the post condition, I'm thinking we can just copy that. The first few videos show this stuff being done several times, so I'm not going to waste your time doing that stuff again. Now, if we go back here, actually, let's just stop the recording here and uh, I'll do a separate video covering this. Thanks for your time, guys. Bye.